Hello all, thanks for tuning in to Appointed Life Podcast, where you are encouraged and inspired to live life God's way by applying His Word. My name is Ernie, and I'm so glad that you are listening. So today I want to talk to you about passion. I want to talk to you about your passion. See, passion is one of those substances that is necessary to have for a long lasting relationship with God and helps to fuel the flames to remain on the path of righteousness. If you ever got into a place where you feel like you do not have the strength to do what God has called you to do, or you see that little by little you begin to neglect the very thing that you prayed for, that is the devil chipping away at your passion for the things of God. See, the devil is cunning, but you have to guard yourself in a way so that you do not let the devil steal your passion for the things of God. Many of you are familiar with the definition of passion as relating to intense feeling or desire. But when looking up the origin of the word passion, it is defined as to suffer or endure. So when I say do not allow the devil to take your passion, I mean do not allow the devil to take your willingness to endure the process into the promise. Do not allow the devil to make you despise your suffering. The Bible tells us in Romans 8.18, Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. There are some things that you will face while working unto the Lord that will cause you to second guess whether or not you are headed in the right direction. It will cause you to question whether or not it's even worth enduring. But you have to remember that what you face now cannot be compared to the glory that is to come. Jesus was doing the will of the Father, and he suffered for our sake because he understood that it was necessary to bring about our salvation, and what came after was his glorification. The Bible tells us in Romans 12 verse 11, never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. This is why you must daily eat the word of God. You are not only reading it just to read it. But the word of God fortifies your spirit and gives you strength to endure. There is a path that God has set you on, but you have to be alert because the devil is working hard to take you off the path of God. Through discouragement, the storms of life, failure, disappointment, whatever it is, the enemy will use any and everything to get you to turn from God and reject Jesus as Lord and Savior. As believers, I know that it can be difficult, but God has given you the grace to endure. You have to lean on him. Continue to remain steadfast in prayer and in his word. And remember that there is glory after this. Once again, thanks for tuning into Appointed Life Podcast. And I pray that you have a blessed day. 